Hey, hello. Today we're going to have a look at the Mini Metro level of Berlin and the achievement that comes along with this one called the Grey Locomotive, uh, where you need to deliver 1,000 passengers with only one locomotive per line. So obviously the main thing that we want in this is just to get a lot of lines going. But uh, we'll see how we go. All right, now the first thing, um, as I always say, is that make sure with all your lines that you have a triangle, a circle, and a square attached to them. Um, this is because these are going to be your most common passengers and if you've got um, lines having to drop off to other lines, um, these basic passengers, then you're going to cause needless congestion um, and that could probably be the end of you. Now, obviously the main thing in this one is we don't want to make any of our lines too long um, because that, like, obviously they're only going to have one uh, train on them. So we'll see how we go. Um, everything south of the river I might just give to green for now, uh, but we'll see how many end up being down there. But yeah, the name of the game each week, uh, if they're giving us another line, then we'll definitely take it. Um, I'd say the key to success here is definitely having seven lines up and running. So we'll definitely take the line. Okay, we might just make this its own new line here. Okay, now first rare. Now we do have one um, second line to go, so I am considering uh, when we get a new line, just sort of splitting this in two and having, uh, say, green run these four and then having another line to sort of run these ones and back up. So yeah, you can already see the green is starting to suffer a bit there. I don't like the idea of having three circles at the end of the yellow line, so we'll just divide that so that uh, Crimson's taking on a bit more of that. Okay, so we'll take that line, we will pause quickly as well, and we will remove all of those, and we will send him that way. Um, and then we will make our second line just run through like that. We might also just quickly pull those off there so that he just... Uh, Eyes on the prize takes care of that guy. Oh, actually, it looks like Green did the job anyway. Um, uh, we will pull that one off there and just add that guy to him. Just so we head straight down there. Because it's going to have to be a lot of um, line manipulation to fix those ones, because obviously we can't just dump a, um, a new train on each line every time we have a problem. Now we've got a triangle at the end, he should be able to just sort of clean up a lot of that uh, as he goes through, or at least enough of it to not crash and burn. But yeah, it already looks like we might need a carriage for this, um, this lower end. Alright, we'll just pull those off that again and uh, let him fix this one. Sorry, we'll also give the triangle to green. Okay, good, a triangle up there will um, aid them a fair bit. Um, you could also consider connecting yellow to that triangle too. Okay, we certainly will take another line here. Um, now with this line, we might just make a nice little um, short route that just sort of takes... Okay, let us get through there. I'll just go those four. Um, he's obviously not going to have a square, which is, means he's going to have to drop off to brown. I might give him that one as well. Just, just to essentially have two trains doing that work. Uh, and we might just make yellow go through that circle as well. Now, looks like we're about to have an impending problem. So what we might do is we'll just quickly kill that green line. And we'll just make a green line that runs from that circle 
Um, actually, do we have to do it the other way? I'm just trying to remember. I think if we start it at the circle and go that way, it means our train will start at that end. So if we cancels there, jumps on, in the nick of time, uh, we can just hot fix that one. Okay, what we might do is just see if we can change this up so that brown is taking care of um, the rares down here, and it's purple's job to take care of the others. Um, so we might just take that off brown as well. So that we have that extra tunnel, and we can send um, crimson up here through to that one. Okay, now we might just quickly kill green again, um, and we'll hot fix this one. So uh, it looks like diamonds are the main thing that he's got a problem with, so we'll just do a quick connection to diamonds for him to clean that one up. That looks like it's just going to move everything else over as well. Okay, now we might just remove, we might just give him the triangle now so that he can move those triangles over. Okay, we'll definitely, oh, it's a close one. Uh, both would benefit, but we'll take the line. Um, and we can see that that one's in a bit of trouble, so we might use that as a hotfix line for now as well. Okay, now what we might do um, is we might take one of our two hotfix lines and we'll just pull that out there. And we'll remove that one and we'll make this line just do that. Um, so what this will do is this guy's job will just be to clean up these distant ones um, basically just get rid of any triangles or circles that are appearing on them. Um, but then it's the job of either yellow or maroon to, to carry back all the other trains. And then we'll just use that blue line to hot fix any other uh, issues that seem to come up. might just quickly cancel blue and we'll just connect those three to see if that cleans up a bit of that because it looks like brown's always full by the time he gets to that guy and can't remove those. Okay, and we will give that to green. Whoa, both of those could benefit pretty well, um, but we might take the carriage and we will give it to yellow. Okay, so um, we can see that this guy's getting a bit overrun and it looks like it's for everything that he's got to bring down. Okay, so we will cancel blue again. Uh, it looks like this guy needs to move pluses and triangles and we'll just chuck diamonds in there too. Uh, what we will do is we will just cancel the rest of Brown's trip, make him head back up top, grab all those guys. I mean, it can't even be ideal if it's just Brown's job just to transport across the river um, and these two guys can just take anything that he picks up. So even with just doing the few, uh, Brown is still a bit overwhelmed there. Okay, we might just connect blue to that guy as well, because that guy is getting a bit in trouble. 
Uh, we might just cancel the rest of Purple's route as well so that he directly goes to this guy. Didn't realize that we didn't have Purple meeting with Brown. So we'll just give them that. Um, we'll take the carriage and we'll give it to Purple temporarily. Just to move everything over. Okay. Actually, now we'll leave purple. Just quickly move all that again. All right, we'll give that to Brown. Okay, we'll bump purple up to go take give attention to that one. We're in the home stretch here, though. Green. Just knock that down to blue. Let's keep an eye on this guy. So there we go. Uh, 1,000 passengers. It's not pretty, but it's a very fast, short level. Um, hopefully that gives you a bit of a hint of how to get through it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. Alright, till next time.